Pokemon is the largest franchise in the world, but somehow I'm the only Pokemon YouTuber that has any amount of integrity. I do my due diligence on stories instead of clickbaiting garbage like this. So the story right now is, guys, guys, the Pokemon Scarlet and Violet Datamine has the stats for Mega Evolutions inside of it, which means we are closer to having Megas in the DLC compared to what happened with Pokemon Sword and Shield. Except it's all crap, and that's not me saying that. I messaged Kurt. I was like, hey, Kurt, why don't I hear about any of this in the Datamine? So when it comes to Pokemon, they don't delete old personal data entries. Their presence means nothing. And we've been over this. There's item data for everything, even going back to Pokemon Sword and Shield. Like, oh man, Mega Stones inside of Pokemon Sword and Shield meant nothing. It has been this way for literally every game since they've been introduced, yet unavailable. Those Mega Form entries are reserved because things like Galarian Slowbro are Form 2, while Mega Slowbro is Form 1. The only reuse of forms was for Cosplay Pikachu, which was Generation 6 only, and not really a stat different form. It's a non-story, misleading noob trap. And everyone should have already known this because there was a lot of news about it with the Pokemon Home update in Generation 8, and then it went nowhere. But for some reason, people are trying to make a story from this nobody account ran by a 17 year old. There's a reason why none of the data miners have talked about it. Don't see it from Kurt, Kazo, Matt, Anubis. It's garbage. Okay, this is funny, so I have to put it into the video, because even though we're talking about it being the same thing, you don't realize how much this is the same thing. When I was thinking about the title for this video, it was, there's nothing to suggest Mega Evolution in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. But then I went, wait, let me go and look back and see, like, how this played out with Pokemon Sword and Shield, forgetting I already had the idea of the same title for Pokemon Sword and Shield where Matt was clearing up the misinformation. No, Game Freak did not add Megastone sprites in the latest patch for Pokemon Sword and Shield. Those sprites have existed since launch in November and were in touch. So like the DLC didn't even add any Mega stuff or Pokemon Home not adding any Mega stuff, even though that was what a lot of the frauds were trying to push and promote. But to the data miners, yeah. Mega Stones being in the game, so mundane, not even worth talking about. Problem is, by it being so mundane, it's not worth talking about. That lets bad actors come in with fake information. So it's a nothing story. Frauds are trying to make it more than it is, and for some reason, people follow and buy that crap. I mean, but that's just that's just the Pokemon community. Oh, uh, and I was kind of looking around for other things around this. Uh, we we found an amazing post. So yeah, like the big news is over. This means nothing. This means nothing. We already saw it with Pokemon Sword and Shield. But now I want to see, like, how people were responding to it in that time. And just, again, how it went nowhere. And just how stupid the Pokemon community is to non-stop fall for garbage like this. Especially the Pokemon Leaks community. I feel like you actually need to have a verified IQ under 90 to follow it. And then the lower IQ, the more karma you actually are able to farm. So, two years ago, Mega Evolution is more likely than you think. How did that work? DJ Drizzy 9? Apparently, Sword and Shield were going to have Mega Evolutions according to its leaked beta. The amount of derangement in the Pokemon community is unbelievable. Like, it's just these fabrications because they're too stupid to understand how game development works or how to interpret a data mine. Even the DLC data mine had Mega Primal Stones. Let's look at the item list from Pokemon Sword and Shield to see what else was supposed to be in the games, except it got scrapped in the beta though. Uh, Blue Flute, Yellow Flute, Red Flute, wow. Uh, Generation 3 remakes are confirmed, let's go. And then Shoal Salt and Shell. Wait, there's mail in the data of Pokemon Sword and Shield as well? The completely deprecated feature? It's returning in the DLC? So yeah, unused items don't mean anything and have never meant anything. And for some reason, this person's conclusion is that it implies Megas were considered at some point before being scrapped. Wait a second, that's, that's a completely different implication than the lead sentence here. Apparently, Sword and Shield were going to have Mega Evolutions according to its leaked beta. When you say according to something, you actually imply that there's strong evidence or proof suggesting that. Not that, oh, there were a couple of items and, and references, but then it was ended up being scrapped. No, but because their intelligence is so low, they cannot comprehend the world around them. They just have to make up things to explain it to themselves or else they can't function. 
and this got a decent amount of upvotes. So like people were actually falling for this and believing this. My point is that I don't think Mega Evolution has been abandoned as many fans state or fear. Now I'm starting to feel bad because I think this person might be clinically mentally deficient and I'm picking on them. It's only missing in one game, sidelined in others because of the focus on respective gimmicks, and it was seemingly considered to appear. Except, it, again, like, they, they make something up that's already, like, understood, and then they use that as evidence, you know? Seemingly considered to appear, so because of this consideration, I now have strong evidence that I completely made up. Instead, we got Dynamax, which is a replacement for Megas and Z moves, so I'm sure that was intentional. Mega Evolution was not forgotten, except it, well, I, I guess Mail wasn't forgotten either, but I suppose it was cut because it would clash with Dynamax. This is, this is just the Pokemon community. This is the stupidity I have to deal with every day. With Brilliant Diamond, Shine, Pearl, there's no reason to cut Megas, since there's no other battle gimmick to interfere. Masuda and friends know Megas are popular, and about 17 Pokemon can Mega Evolve already in the Platinum decks, including Lucario, the first Mega Evolution, and Garchomp. Cynthia has used a Mega Garchomp. Why would they cut them from their own region? Because it's a gimmick that is no longer needed inside of Pokemon, and was also incredibly unhealthy for the games. This expectation that's like, well, if there's a hole, then it must be filled with Megas, is the reason why Megas have been retired to this point. It's not good for the franchise to have to drag along old, outdated mechanics forever just because they existed once. Now, yeah, there was a lot of fanfare around Megas, and we do see, like, callbacks in the anime or other games from time to time. That isn't a sign that's like, well, now that means they're coming back because I want them back so bad, I'm just going to ignore all of reality all common sense to make this happen. Why would they cut them from their own region? Well, that's because Megas aren't native to Generation 4 either, so... Again, like, I don't like reality, and I can't cope, so I'm just going to make things up. Modern Pokemon changes up gameplay with battle gimmicks, so Brilliant Diamond Shine Pearl likely to follow that trend. Except, Brilliant Diamond Shine Pearl was actually one of the truest remakes to its own detriment by not including most of the quality of life that's in modern Pokemon and making it not that great of an experience by modern standards, especially if you want to play competitive. So actually, no, anyone with an IQ above room temperature would have known that it was unlikely to follow that trend. Now, this is before Brilliant Diamond Shine and Pearl coming out. Now, I will admit I got one of those weird time loopy things where it's like, oh, what you remember 10 years ago versus what it actually was and you feel ancient. When I see a post that's like two years ago, I'm thinking, yeah, Pokemon Sword and Shield discussion, you know, and they start off with like talking about the beta. No, two years ago, uh, at this time, June 24th, 2021, Brilliant Diamond Shine Pearl was coming out that November, just a few months away. So people are still like, and that means we also had a decent amount of information about Brilliant Diamond Shine Pearl to not suggest that it would follow any kind of trend like this. They could justify the exclusion of Megas and Sword and Shield because of the main gimmick. No, the main gimmick is why there should be no expectation for the return of Megas because they are completely distancing from that and they're going to be introducing new gimmicks as time goes on. There's really no way they can do the same for Brilliant Diamond Shine Pearl and I doubt they're that for foolish. No way! Complete impossibility to not have Megas in Brilliant Diamond Shine Pearl because I said so. Arbitrarily, no evidence, nothing to suggest it. When developing Sinnoh, they gave the theme of evolution and choose to give many beloved other Pokemon new evolutions. And the theme of Kalos, Generation 6, a completely different generation and region, was Mega Evolution. Also fashion, but like, just be like, yeah, that's an evolution. And the reason why we didn't see evolutions in the future and got Mega Evolutions instead is because Sinnoh did its own thing. Why not stay faithful to that philosophy with Mega Evolution? because that's not faithful to that philosophy and it's a completely different thing. Staying faithful to that wouldn't be Mega Evolution, it would just be new evolutions for Pokemon, but then that gets unfaithful to how much they wanted to make this a true remake of Generation 4, and also introducing new evolutions in a remake like that. That, that makes less sense than anything this dude's trying to cook up. Sinnoh's theme of evolution and myths, well, they threw away the whole myth theming when they just made up everything for the garbage that was Pokemon Legends, about the Pokemon world would make it perfect and easiest fit. I... My brain cannot actually not un unravel that. This person's too stupid for thought. 
The first region has got to be something... Or wait, the first region has got to have something to say about Mega Evolution. The first region. Okay, so now they're going to the lore of Sinnoh being the first region. Except Legend Arceus just said no and might have even like suggested no. Because we had Hisui at this point from Pokemon Legends. Did we get official information on the region being called Hisui in the first trailer? I don't exactly remember because there weren't like a crazy amount of details but i want to say that was like called hisui and i'm just like oh so now they're just completely making things up and throwing away all the lore of Sinnoh. so i mean if we're talking about pokemon legends which is a main series pokemon game and people try to say like oh well it's not main series so you can't hate on it which is also weird because if you're trying to defend it but it's so bad you have to like remove it from the discussion of main series that's that's not an argument pro pokemon Legend. It, it's all a mess this is what happens with when like just stupidity takes over in the Pokemon community because everything is fraudulent and no other creator has any integrity whatsoever. So actually all the lore of Sinnoh has been completely thrown out so you can't even use that as like an arguing point of yeah Megas make sense just cause and other mysteries of the Pokemon universe. Ah uh, there's mysteries in the Pokemon universe therefore I can just make up whatever garbage I want. Let's go Pikachu and Eevee can have them despite being targeted towards Go players meaning it was unnecessary. That. That's a complete lie. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee was made for all Pokemon fans as a main series Pokemon game. Streamlining the game by removing held items and abilities, which was faithful to Yellow. Brilliant Diamond deserves more. Having all this laid out in a compre- com Someone called this comprehensive. Making things up with no evidence, and then just being wrong about interpretations. Comprehensive. I know all this information, but stringing together helps further. When you are desperate for information for four months, you'll research to get an idea of what's possible to expect. Feels good to have logic to back up your beliefs. This is like when they deprive someone of all their senses and then they just start like mad hallucinating. They just fabricate delusions because of their ill mind that has been completely rotted out by social media and fraudulent influencers and then they never got to develop the this is the younger generation their brains never developed or even like the entitlement we see in older even older generations like like millennials everyone's all screwed up didn't go outside enough they they got trophies for free and, and now they're just they're just running around with their stupidity on display like this because all the other idiots will agree with them oh my oh Oh, this got worse than I thought. I just... I can't. 